Hello, I'm Beth the Builder. I'm sitting on my table today because I'm not doing a big project. I'm gonna tell you guys about my DIY Venn diagram. So this applies to everything from like little projects, like my Etsy projects, to big old, like when I've redone my kitchen floor or my hallway. Everything requires these three things, time, labor, and money. So everything has to have these three things. But what are your priorities? You know, what are you willing to expend to do these projects? So, okay, first things first, you're willing to spend time and labor. I'm totally willing to do that for my house. I will plan out a project. I'll spend time thinking about it. That's something I'm willing to do. And I'm willing to put these blood, sweat, and tears into that project. I'm totally willing to do that. But I'm not really willing to spend a shitload of money. Any of my flooring projects, as an example, have cost me under $100 for each project. Pros and cons, you know, there's some things that I end up not being able to do the way I want because I don't want to spend a lot of money on that thing. Uh, pros, you know, I am very proud of my house because I've done a lot of things myself and it ends up impressing people and being really cool. And I've hopefully increased the value of my home because it looks so much better than what it did. So here's a really, a very real world example of something that I experienced in my lifetime that's not me specifically. Okay, so a long, long time ago, little Beth, all right, we live on an acreage. My dad is gonna pour this slab of concrete for this garage that's gonna be moved onto the property. That's great. My dad is always willing to spend time and his labor, but boy howdy, it would kill him to spend money on a thing. So he wasn't willing to get 12 dudes to come in, you know, get sand in and rebar and pour the concrete and all the labor for it. He's not willing to do that. Okay, so then just like days and days and days of my dad just just obsessing over how the framework for the concrete to be poured looks. Like it's square within like a sixteenth of an inch. Which when you're working on that big of a scale, like it doesn't really matter down to that level of preciseness. And that's where like he spent so much time and so much labor, his blood, sweat and tears on this thing that did it really end up saving him any money in the long run because he had to take time off work to do this. And he wasn't being, he wasn't able to do other things because he was spending so much time and energy on this thing. So yeah, that's an example of like priorities. He's willing to spend those two things. He's not willing to spend money on it, which can be a con, like can be such a detriment to actually getting that project done potentially. Cause sometimes you do need to spend money and sometimes it's, easier across the board to just let somebody lay new flooring or fix that plumbing like sometimes it's just easier to have someone else do it for you and to just pay a little bit of money okay next two bubbles you're willing to spend labor and you're willing to spend some money on this thing and this is where my house is a great example of this because i think people weren't really willing to spend time thinking worrying learning ex planning etc on projects so you have some money, you go and buy some paint, you buy, you buy some new trim, you buy new doors, carpet, anything. Okay, you spend some money, cool, great. And maybe you even have the right tools to do it, but you're not willing to spend any time on it. You didn't plan this project out. So now you have crazy trim butted up against each other, just, just flat, like a crazy person. You've painted, wow, you, but it's a big hot mess. You didn't spend any time taping or not trying to get drips on everything. You painted the electrical wiring, you painted the plumbing, you drip paint all over the hardwood floors and all over the trim. It's a hot mess. So guess what? In the long run, it's gonna end up costing you more, okay? You're gonna have to pay to fix that thing or redo it. You're gonna spend your time that way and you're gonna spend your labor that way. So this is what I like to call a uh, quick and dirty, okay? So you spent very little time on it and you spent some money and some labor, but there's a lot of cons to doing things this way. Okay, and the third combo being you're willing to spend money and you're willing to spend time. Okay, and time being like, obviously everything takes time, but time being in this scenario, like time thinking, planning, making phone calls, uh, worrying, etc. Okay, driving places, time. So my personal example of this is we have a pipe in our basement that is dripping slightly, mostly, I spent time 
thinking about this thing, being a little bit stressed about it, being kind of frustrated and irritated that it's even dripping, because why the f is it dripping now? And in the grand scheme of things, we'll probably pay somebody to come in and replace the connection. Problem solved. Like what I've spent is mostly my time, like thinking about and being mad about it and being frustrated, which is silly because the fix is probably relatively easy. It's just kind of inconvenient and silly. And we thought we'd fixed it. We started dripping again, the whole thing. So that's an example of like, I've spent time worrying about it and I've spent a little bit of money, but the labor, I haven't really spent a ton of labor on this thing other than crying one time. So obviously every project I think will use all three and probably to different levels for everything. Um, everything will cost some money and some time and some labor, but um, you know, priorities. What do you want to spend your time, money, and labor on? Um, I find it really rewarding to do hands-on projects and put my blood, sweat, and tears into a thing. I don't find it rewarding to try and figure out what the f is wrong with my car, okay? I would love to maybe be better at like fixing a car, but like you can't be good at everything and I just don't care that much. I just want it to run. I want it to get me from point A to point B. I don't want to have to think about it. So that's where I'm willing to spend some money to just have the problem go away. Priorities. I found it incredibly rewarding to like fix trim in my house, repair flooring, uncover flooring. It's like a big mystery. I love that stuff. I'm willing to spend the time on it. So I'm willing to do that. That's something I'm willing to expend. And money is something I'm not right now willing to spend on some of this stuff because houses are expensive, okay? That stuff can like rack up like so fast, you know, where you're like, I want a new kitchen. I want new flooring. And I, this electrical needs to be fixed and this plumbing needs to be fixed. And I want, you know, brand new mahogany floors, you know? And it's like, oh, well, I'll be $70,000. And you're like, wow, boy. So just something to keep in mind. It's something I think about with all my projects. Um, some stuff I don't like how much time it took me to do it. And other things, you know, I'm, I feel like, boy, maybe that would have been better if I had just spent a little bit more money on it. So priorities, it's just something to keep in mind and just kind of some interesting thought experiments. So keep DIYing. Keep watching. I have new stuff coming to my Etsy shop, so check that out. You can find me on Odyssey and on Twitter, on Instagram, all the places. So I'll have a new video next week where I will be DIYing a project, not talking like a robot. And thanks for watching.